Of course, you had the, 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 the records of the member of the, the Jewish community. Um, and, uh, um, for instance, I, I, uh, I, I didn't know, very recently I discovered the original birth record of my father. Okay? He was born in 1935. Because I needed, I needed to, for my Spanish nationality, so I asked a copy of the birth record of my father. And then you said, okay, said Ascoli, born in Erda. And then someone added, which is still in its original record, it is written in the, in the, in the, in the birth record. Uh, bec uh, due to decree XYZ of uh, this date, uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is officially uh, declared that Sergio Ascoli belongs to the Jewish race. So, this was introduced in all birth records, civil records of the Italian administration. So when the Germans came, it was easy for them, even without having the, let's say, because this, this list of synagogues, of course, they, they tried to hide it. So it was not, just looking at the official records, they could see who was Jewish and who was not. Okay. It's a, Sorry, you're referring to the laws in 1938? Yes. Okay. The laws of 1938, but but um, <coughs> for some reason, this was officially added to his uh, birth oh, record in 1942. Oh, yes. 1942. Yes. Well, I, I heard the Italian professor a couple of years ago in Venice. Someone asked him the same question. You know, they had all the names. Mm. Why didn't it happen? And his reply, I'm telling you the truth now, is, was, oh, we're Italians after all. Well, which wasn't really exactly nice, but he said that. I mean, meaning but it, depend, it depends from, you know, the Jews of Rome, they were taken by surprise. So the Germans managed to send, uh, one, we think, one, more than 1,000 to Auschwitz. Very few, so 16 only survived, I think. But in Ancona, what happened was that, for instance, the Italian police, they, um, they knew what was going to happen, and they went from family to family, to tell people and to make sure that they wouldn't be caught by the Germans. Many of them had left already, mm -hmm. but those who had stayed, they were told to, you know, to, to disappear because um, the Italian authority police, they, they knew that the Germans were trying to, and they only got uh, 10 or 11 Jews in Ancona, in fact, only were sent to, almost no one, uh, almost anyone. Mm -hmm. So it, it could depend from, from place to place. 80% of them, successfully hit. Uh, ma many, what, what many Jews of Ancona did was that uh, when the Germans arrived, they hid. Uh, my family hid in the countryside, in the house of a uh, Marquis. 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 And, and then later on, today he is, uh, he is for, for a couple of months, and then they, they took a boat and they, this boat, during the night, they went to South Italy, which was already occupied by the English army. And uh, the person who hid them uh, was uh, later on rewarded by the State of Israel. Uh, he's in the Yad Vashem, uh, to try Nazi writers among the nation. Mm -hmm. My father went to the Chamber of Deputies to call him to recall what was happened to his family. There was also the president of a chamber, president of the Senate, there was the Israeli ambassador, and so on. So in fact, many Jews hid, hid or escaped, and uh, many died, but not uh, much less compared to other uh, Western European countries, not to talk about what happened in Eastern Europe, of course. If I, sorry, if I can add, in Rome, the Nazis didn't know that uh, like some Serbians were mm -hmm. from cities, etc. So the fascists helped the Nazis in finding the Jews. So they were, yeah. so that's how it worked. Like, uh, I think I can just speak for yeah. Rome. Yeah. In the rest of Italy, maybe it was different, but uh, that's how, so like, uh, basically they were sending yeah. the, the, the Jews to, to, to find them. Yeah. I must say that in Ancona, the population behaved really, really well, but it, it could vary from place to place. Yeah. Qui c'è comunque la storia del 16 ottobre che andrebbe ben spiegata molto bene, che è molto complessa, perché gli ebrei romani si aspettavano il salvataggio del Papa, la protezione del Papa, quindi non è avvenuta. 
you know, about them for complete hours, you know. Yeah. So just very quickly, like on the 16th of October, of October, the Jews were taken from Rome and they were hoping for yeah, help from, from the Pope, Rome. but they didn't come. Like there was all a story about uh, them giving, like uh, giving 50 kilos of gold to the, to a German um, um, official, uh, official uh, Kepler. Uh, and uh, they they put many people, like Jewish people, non-Jewish people, they gathered these 50 kilos of gold. They, they thought they could save uh, the Jewish people, but then they were taken anyway. And they thought the Pope could help like in uh, saving them, but it didn't happen. So like, uh, there are, it's very conflictual here, like especially the story about the Pope, because uh, some people say, oh, the Pope did something, actually, like uh, they were taken uh, from it. <laughs> from, Una cosa è vera, che quando ad Auschwitz aspettavano gli ebrei di Roma sulla rampa, tutti quanti i comandanti di Auschwitz, c'era una storia di Auschwitz, che stavano aspettando gli ebrei di Roma. Ma, comunque, non mi interrompo, solo un po' di cose. È interessante. La tragedia era che molti italiani di Italia hanno sentito l'Italia italiana. So they 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 this this um, they show it you know it's a sort of prison uh, uh, or treachery. Um, treachery. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what happened? What happened to to them? And they lived it very badly because you know they they felt totally Italian. They they didn't think that this could happen in uh, in Italy. Uh, official racial anti-Semitism starts relatively late during fascism, which was not like you know, to some say it was because Mussolini you know made this alliance with Hitler. Some people say other things, but uh, they were they were very very well integrated. The the conv let's say the, the boat which brought many Jews of Ancona to South Italy, escaping from the German, was uh, it was organized by my great uncle, uh, Admiral Aldo Ascoli. He was in fact before 1938, before the Lachal Laws, he was at the head of the Italian fleet in the Eastern Mediterranean. You had some Greek islands who are now are Greek, like Corfu, Rodi, but at the time they were part of Italy. He was at the head of, uh, he was the chief admiral uh, there. Uh, another, another great uncle of mine, the generale Ettore Ascoli, he was one of only five, uh, sorry, generale di corpo d'armata. <laughs> it was the, the, the highest general you can, you can think. There was only five of them in Italy. He was one of them. So they were, they were dismissed, they were dismissed. Uh, the king of Italy, the king of Italy, in fact, said, uh, uh, you know, I, I want my personally, myself, to, to call them. So he called them, both of them, and said that he was very sorry, but his hands were tied because of Mussolini. Nye, 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 nye. So, but, but for them, it was, a, it was a tragedy because they were perfectly well integrated, very successful, lots of university professors, lots of high ranking people in the army. Uh, many people uh, in the Senate, in the Chamber of Deputies, and so on. So it is something that for them was a real, uh, real tragedy. Bernard wants to say something. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for a fascinating um, talk, and you've explained some um, of the family names that I've found. So far, I've discovered eight multi great grandparents, <laughs> um, and they cover several of the names that you have talked about, but uh, got an interesting story about a family that my sister worked for as a Bambinaya in the 1960s, who we believed were um, Venetian Catholic aristocracy, who now turn out to have been a Jewish family, um, the Trevesta Bonfili family, who became Baldisera, I just got a message three days ago from one of the sons that she looked after telling us that it's his here. Jewish grandfather <coughs> changed the name from Baltazar to Baldisera to Italianize it in the 19th century. But I have a question, and it is about the Meldola family, because I've recently discovered a whole bunch of Meldola relatives, mm -hmm. including two who are supposed to have been um, chief rabbis in Livorno, their name doesn't appear in those lists, it hasn't appeared in e every list that you've mentioned. No, no, I've seen this I've gone through. And yes. they appear not to have come from Meldola, but from Mantua, and as far back as the 1350s. And I wondered whether you know anything about them. I know the surnames, Meldola or Della Mendola. 
can, you can have both variations. I know the surname. Uh, I know a rabbi who was Rabbi Meldola. Now, I. Meldola. Uh, Meldola. 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 And they're all now, over the world. There's I, a massive yeah, group in Scandinavia. I, I, don't, I don't recall now exactly in which Italian town, but I can look it for you because I have many. So, this is what I said. We, we have a rabbi yeah. who came from Mantua to Livorno and became chief rabbi. His son became Hacham. Then there was a Hacham in the Beavis Mark synagogue here and another one in Amsterdam. So, um, I'm just sort of surprised that they don't appear anywhere. No, uh, this is just an example. I have other okay. records for Livorno later on. But there is, there is. Someone uh, also called Ascoli, I'm sorry, this is just a coincidence, <laughs> <laughs> who wrote yeah, from Livorno, Smith. who wrote a book about the Livornese family, but he wrote, he, wrote, he wrote it in poetry. So he recalls all the Livorno's family <coughs> in poetry, recalling what some of them did, where they came from, and, and so on and so on and so on. So, do you know what the book is called? Uh, no, no. This is this I'll, is why this is why you have you have here by my my email. email. I'm very yeah. happy to to help to help any one of you. If nice. you tell me surnames, places, I have different records, different yeah. Please. Um, three people. Yeah. Sorry. One, two, three. Yes. <laughs> how how, how did, the, did the Jews who weren't allowed to practice their religion through the centuries and obtain new Christians or whatever? How were they? How did they continue the practice of the Brittany law, which was obviously you know, a basic requirement? But no, did, no, no. Or did they? We did not have in Italy this phenomenon in Spain of hidden Jews, which are Christian in names but Jews in practice. We don't have it because when they were expelled, 